If you guys don't like and subscribe in the next 10 seconds, this big ass raton spider will crop in your mouth while you sleep, guys. I would not take the risk of if I were you guys. For all you my team players out there, if you guys need cheap and reliable MT, go to safembamt.com. Enter my code DAN5 for 5% off. Link in the description, everybody. Are y'all tired of grinding my career all day just to get your overall or badges? Again, guys, hit up Go Plug for the cheapest and most reliable badge service on 2K20. Again, go tell them Dan sent you on the hook you right up, y'all. Link in the description, guys. That's the only thing that gon' heal it I don't understand you women Who go around pretending As if Wait till I'm back. I'm posting a fat minute. I think the last video I posted, I think it was a couple days ago. I think it was a spin glitch video. If you guys didn't watch that video, go try it now. If you are a slasher or interior force that want to get to like, you know, get open every single time, do a little move. Go watch that video right now. It literally teleports you to the rim, basically. So again, it's a really good move to do. But in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys the best center build for shooting. Now, again, this is the best shooting center build, in my opinion. Um, Do I have this build? Yes. Do I use it? Yes. It's the best build in the game. You can shoot. You can, you know, drive into the paint. You can shoot the ball, of course. You can get rebounds, play defense. You guys can do everything. You guys can get box out. You can horse, everything. All right, this build has to be the best center build in the game. So the first thing is I'm going to put the position. First name, last name, doesn't really matter. I just put best center. The position you guys want to go is not power forward, but go center. All right. Now, the hand you guys want to put is left, in my opinion. I think left hand is a bit better. You guys can go rent if you guys want to. It's just all preference. But I go with left, in my opinion. Now, the jersey, I put number one for Chris Bosh. So, again, now I'm going to show you guys the skill breakdown, which one you guys want to pick. The one you guys want to pick is the one with the green and the red. So, look for it on right here. should be next to the, the playmaking one. Right here, click on this one. And now, the for the physical profile thing, I just want to click on is look for the one that's like kind of equal for everything. Not this one. This one's pretty shitty. Is it? Yes. Is it? It's not that bad, actually. But I'm going to go with this one. It looks actually pretty good. So I'm going to go with this one. It's kind of more equal, I guess, in my opinion. Click on this. And now for the potential, you're going to put put the close shot all the way up. Driving layup, I think I put to 56 or 57. Something like that. Or 50. I think I put 53, yeah. And driving dunk, 57. This one is 57. I think I maxed out sending dunk. Post hook, I think I took it one down or two down. Oh, yeah, I took it one down. Then driving and shooting, everything max except the free throw. The free throw you go down twice. And post fade, max it out. Like that. Uh, play making, you put nothing. It's just garbage. Now, interior, uh, you know, interior defense, you guys need that. Perimeter defense, not really. You're not guarding guards and stuff like that. But block all the way up. This, that. And you guys have 12 finishing. You guys have 17 shooting and defending. 20. So again, this is a really good build to use. Guys only need perimeter defense without all quickness or steel. Those are all garbage, mostly meant for you know lockdowns like perimeter lockdowns and stuff like that. You're mostly like an inside, you know, defender and a shooter and a slasher basically. So this is a pretty good build to do. I'm gonna show you guys right here what body shape. Now the body shape, I think it doesn't even matter in my opinion. But um people say go burly, go built. For fun, I think I put to be honest on my build. I think I put compact just for fun, just to see what the hell I was going to talk about. But the height you guys want to go over is put 6'11". Because you get so much of a boost, if you guys do notice. From 7 foot to 6'11". Everything goes up by like, you know, plus 6. So I think it's worth it or plus 5. Except your strength, but we'll get that up. So put 6'11". Now the weight, I put all the way down. You want to be fat as shit, alright? Now, you can go to, I think, 274 to get like one tick of vertical because it won't affect anything to be honest it won't affect your acceleration your speed or your strength so you could put 224 but for me i want to make guy be fat as shit so i put 258 wait, wait 258 no 285 I'm at 258 285 and the wingspan i put all the way max because you need long ass arms to get the board to have some more big bodies maybe more block terror defense stuff like that so again i went with the uh in you know, the wingspan all the way you know all the way up now you guys can go all the way down if you guys want to get the shooting up but i don't really recommend it i would say go all the way up because you guys do need you know to get your steals get your rebounds and stuff like that so again max wingspan is definitely the wave now the takeover literally this is all preference but i feel glass can takeover is a lot better than rim i've heard multiple people saying they want to switch their rim to the glass and people saying they want to switch their glass to the rim I would say go with the glass cleaner because literally it's the best. So it's been the best since 2K17 in my opinion. Now I want to show you guys the badges I guess later on. But I'm going to show you guys some clips of me going off with this build. 
Now, with this build, guys, I'm not going to say it's the best build in the game. It is pretty good, actually, not going to lie with you. Um, you can literally play anything. You can be, They can be scared of you because you can be able to shoot, you're able to drive in, you're able to rebound, play some defense. And if you guys put the, the batters that I put for this video, for like the defense and the shooting, literally, you guys should be unstoppable. You can guard literally any post score. You can guard the best, you know, I guess, glass lock for shooting, I guess, if they do have one, maybe, I don't know. You can guard any post scorer as well. You can guard any interior force. Literally, no one can dunk on you. They can, you know, they can snag over you if you guys don't have position, of course. But literally, you can't really can't get bodied, to be honest. Now, sometimes you guys do get bodied sometimes because this game is kind of trash. I'm not going to lie with you. Like, this game is actually really garbage. Now, in this clip right here, guys, if you guys do notice, I don't have all my badges yet. I do have most of my badges, but not all of them yet. Um, if you guys do want to get like the fastest way to rep up badges for defense or shooting, stuff like that, I'll say do the little badge list that I, I did post, I think like three or four days ago. Go watch that video. Literally, it should help you guys out because it does. It is a badge glitch. It's supposed to make you easier to get badges. But again, if you guys do notice, catch and shoot, rain extender, and you know, I think that's all I really have for this build. And that it should be good enough in my opinion. And I think I have quick draw and hall of fame. So literally... These are the badges you guys actually do need for your shooting glass. Literally, if you guys have those three or four badges, you should be set. You guys don't really need corner specialists. You don't really need, um, you know, dead eye because you aren't supposed to be shooting in people's faces with this little build. You guys do need green machine and silver at least. And I think silver is good enough because once you guys get one green with green machine, you should get greens back to back to back to back. So again, um, I would say make this build 100%. It's really good. Everything is good about it. You can rebound, you can shoot, you can drive in, you can set big bodies like on inside center. Literally this build is really good in my opinion. I think I think the only build I can actually com you know, compete with this build would be the BP build because that build is actually really, really good. You can dribble, you can shoot, you can slash, you can play defense. Then you can do everything in the game. It's basically like a little demigod. And if you guys do hit legend with that little build, it's really good. Now, if you guys hit legend with this build, it's actually even 10 times better. You're able to get 20 or 23 or 24, you know, um, what is it? Um, slashing badges. You're able to, to get, you know, at least 30 shooting or at least close to it. You're able to get at least like 30 as well for, you know, defending as well. So basically you're like an inside center with like a stretch big and, you know, a slasher. So it's a really good build to make if you guys want to hit legend. It's a really good legend build as well. Literally, it's an overall good build no matter what it is. So literally, if you're looking, looking for making like a center build that want to shoot, you want to drive in sometimes, and you guys want to get rebounds most of the times, literally make this build. It's really good in my opinion. Now, in a couple of seconds, I'm going to show you guys the badges that I put on the shooting gla you know, glass lock. Now, those are the badges that I feel are the best and are needed for this build to make it, you know, really good. This is what my opinion. I'm going to show you guys in a couple of seconds to build. Not really the build, but the badges and, you know, stuff that I put for the badges, like for slashing, shooting, defending, and playmaking. You know, definitely playmaking only have one. But again, I'm going to show you guys the build or the badges right now. Now, here you guys have the build. Now, I'm going to show you guys what badges to put. Now, this is the badges that I put on my shooting, uh, shooting center. Now, again, this is all preference. You don't really have to do it. It's just, you know, what I feel is the best. So here, put 99, of course, whatever. Now, for shooting, I'm going to do the shooting first. Catch and shoot is a must. You need that. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, my fault. Let me fix that real quick. Vinay Center is a max, is a, for sure a must. Quick draw, you can put it at silver. But I feel, I feel this is what I think is better. Is quick draw, Hall of Fame is a lot better. Now, you got five badges left. So now what I did, to be honest, was put Green Machine on Silver, Hot Zone Hunter on Silver, and Hot Start on Bronze. Now, if you do hit Legend on this build, you get 27 badges. You guys can put whatever you guys want. But this, this is what I usually use because, you know, people want to ISO with this build. So I just let them ISO and I just, you know, sit in the corner or sit in like the top, like right of the, you know, the three point and just catch and shoot and just shoot my threes if I do get left open. So I put those badges. Now, for playmaking, it doesn't even really matter. I just put um, Unpluckable or put a... I just put Quick First Step. doesn't even really matter. Now, for defending, this is what I this is what I put. Put Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame. Worm Hall of Fame. Brick Wall, I put Hall of Fame. And Box, I put Gold. And now, Moving Truck, I put on Silver. Post Move Lockdown, I put on Silver. And then I put... um. I think I put this Hall of Fame. doesn't even really matter, to be honest. But... 
you guys definitely need moving truck and post move lockdown if you guys don't know what post uh you know post move lockdown and moving truck is moving truck basically is to say if a guy like you're going to get to post score or a paint beast and they start bullying you right moving truck actually you know i guess neglects that little thing that happens when you guys get pushed so you guys are going to that little push animation when they do post you up and stuff like that and you guys do need that because you're your shooting center is a little bit weak in my opinion. So this is the best badges for defending. Now for slashing, this is our preference. It doesn't really matter. But I put contact finisher, gold. Lob City finisher on gold for sure. Consistent finisher, I don't know. To be honest, it doesn't even matter. Let me slow see finisher, I guess, on gold. It doesn't even matter, to be honest. I barely go for the paint, but you do get 12 badges for shoot, uh, you know, for slashing. So it's pretty good in my opinion. But this is the build. I'm gonna show you guys a preview of what the build is. I do have some clips with it, so again, I'm going to show you guys some clips. I think I already showed you guys the clips. I don't really know, but again, I don't know if I'm going to put it before I show you guys the badges or after. But again, I hope you guys did enjoy this little video, but I'm out, y'all. Peace.